When The Last of Us first launched on PC almost two months ago, excitement quickly turned to anger and outrage. The PC port was poor to say the very least. A combination of horrible CPU optimization and outrageous VRAM budget requirements absolutely melted performance. And if you were a GTX 1650 laptop owner, it was even worse. However, with the latest update, the game is becoming almost playable. In fact, with a little bit of tweaking, it's borderline enjoyable. So in today's video, I'll show you how to get decent frames and pretty visuals at the same time. So sit down, strap in, let's go. So the first optimization we're gonna do is actually in Windows. I'm gonna show you how to put the last of us in a constant state of high priority. Um, so in the description of this video, just click a link, it's a reg edit link. And then once you've clicked it, just click the, uh, press the Windows key and R, open up the run box and just type in reg edit and then press enter. And then what you're gonna do is in the address bar here, you're just gonna paste that link and then it's gonna press enter. It's gonna bring you to image file execution options. So what you do now is just click on that and you say a new key and you create a new key. And then the new key, you're gonna rename to TLOU-1.exe. And then once you've renamed the new key, new key to TLOU-1exe, click on that and then click new key. I've already done it. And then the new key, you're gonna call Perf Options, capital P, capital O, small caps, everything else. And in Perf Options, you're just gonna click on Perf Options, and then you're gonna create a new D word. I've already done it. And you're gonna rename that D word, CPU Priority Class, no spaces, capital C, capital P, capital C, and then just right click it, modify it, and give it a value of three. I've already done that. So now what's going to happen is every time you open up the last of it, it's going to be running in, uh, the CPU is going to be running it in a high priority. And obviously being a CPU heavy game, this can only lead to good things. Right, for the next Windows optimization, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your NVIDIA control panel. And then you're going to go to manage 3D settings. And then under program settings, I want you to find the last of us part one uh, executable. And then the only thing that you're going to change is image sharpening and you're going to put sharpen to 0 0.70 and then ignore form gram to 0 0.00. Um, and guys, the reason we're doing this is because the in-game sharpener isn't that great and this greatly in, uh, improves the visuals of The Last of Us. Right, and then for the last winner's optimization, I'm going to assume at this point that all of you guys are using River Tuna statistics. There's no in-game FPS kappa less than 60. So we're going to use River Tuner. So just open up River Tuner, go to add, and then navigate to The Last of Us, and then just choose The Last of Us executable. And then based on your preference, you can either set it to 45, or you're going to set it to 40. Because guys, no matter what you do, if you've got a GTX 1650 laptop, and especially if you have a quad-core CPU, um, generally the game will run at uh, between 40 and 45 FPS but they're going to be dips down to 33, 35 every now and then. So if you're happy with 10 FPS dips, set it to 45. But if you want to minimize the dips and make the game seem a lot smoother, set it to 40. So guys, just to illustrate what I mean about uh, CPU heavy areas, I'm currently set to the low preset. So on the graphics, you can see I'm using a low a preset here, which is quite cool. It's using less VRAM, which is always a, always a good thing. But you can see uh, I am using OBS to record. So it is trying a couple of FPS, but it goes up into the 50s. But then as soon as you turn around and you go into a CPU heavy area, the FPS starts dropping. So that is why, what I'm going to suggest is this, you go into graphics, options, graphics, okay, so now we're going to work off the low preset, draw distance, just leave normal, 
uh, in fact, leave all geometry at low and then texture settings. That's, this is where we're going to start changing. Character, texture, quality, we're going to set to medium. Environment, texture, quality, we're going to set to medium. Um, and then we're going to put anisotropic filtering on 16. And then we're going to skip over these things here. We're going to go to lighting. Uh, we're going to put this on quarter resolution because as you can see, there's a big improvement. Um, you can't set this any lower and it doesn't really look much better at medium. Guys, image-based lighting, it actually has quite a big impact on performance, but it also does make things look a lot nicer. So just to show you quickly what I mean and then I'll continue. So with off, let's just apply our settings along. So this is what it looks like with off. And then once you go into graphics and then you switch it on, you can see it looks a stuff lot better. The ground looks very flat. But the thing is, it comes with, it's probably, you can gain five extra FPS, but the thing is, it looks horrible. So my suggestion is, go into graphics, leave image-based lighting switched on, and then what we're gonna do is, Bounce lighting, leave that off. Screen space shadows, leave that off. Screen space ambient occlusion, definitely switch it on, makes it look a lot nicer. And then screen space directional occlusion, leave that off. And then cone tracing is also one that improves the visuals quite a bit. It just makes the shadows look a lot nicer. And then there's nothing to do here. Shading settings, new. No. Then we're gonna go to post effects nothing visual effects we're gonna effects density this one really affects performance and they're so kind that in this patch they've allowed us to set it below low so it's extra low so what you're gonna do is go to very low if you got a quad core cpu this is gonna really make your one percent lows a little bit better and it's gonna give you a slightly better performance so put that on very low and then miscellaneous settings uh, ambient character density you don't want it on low you want it on very low it's just gives a little bit more stability on quad core cpus especially uh, linked up with the gtx 1650 and then just to confirm all those things that we've changed first what we did is we put it on a low graphics preset we left everything on low geometry texture settings we changed to medium character texture quality environments texture quality we've set to medium Anisotropic set to 16. Uh, we ambient shadows we changed to quarter resolution. We switched image based lighting on. And then what's the other th oh, we put screen, screen space ambient occlusion on. And we put screen space cone tracing on. Nothing in reflection settings, nothing in shading settings. Both effects just leave everything off. Visual effects, we change effects density to very low to save some CPU. And miscellaneous settings, we change ambient character density to very low. So now once we apply, I'm just gonna apply and restart again. And now, okay, I haven't capped my FPS because I wanted to show you what, you can see now in performance, it looks a little bit better, but in performance, it's going up to 50. But then once you turn around, it's dropping down into the low or into the late thirties. And you don't want that to happen. So what, that's why I suggest um, cap it at either 45 if you're feeling, if you want high FPS, but I actually recommend cap, capping it at 40 because then you're not gonna get these big dips from 50 to 30 or 45 to 35 at max in the CPU heavy sequences, it's gonna drop five FPS. So just to illustrate what I mean, right, so just to illustrate what I mean, there I cap my FPS to 40 in River Tuner. You can see it still looks a lot nicer, it runs a lot smoother, and then once we hit the heavy CPU section, there's not a massive big dip in FPS because we set it to 40, and now it just looks and plays a lot more stable. And guys, those are my best settings for update version 1.0.5.0.
can't go wrong with them and i've tested them in all the heavy cpu areas anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please hit me up in the comment section if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you haven't subscribed yet and you're still watching now is the time to do so and if you a subscriber to my channel and you want to give some support consider joining my channel you can exit that by the join button on my home page other than that guys thanks for watching it's people like you cheers mm -hmm.